Welcome to this tutorial on building a turn-based strategy game in Java. In this series, we will learn about game architecture, creating game entities, handling turns, and implementing game logic. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the tools we'll be using. For this tutorial, you should have Java 11 or higher installed, and we will be using an IDE such as IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse. We'll also be using basic game libraries like JavaFX for the UI. Make sure you have these installed. Let's begin by setting up our project structure. Create a new Java project in your IDE and set up the following package structure, com.game, com.game.entities, com.game.gua, com.game.logic. This will help us keep our code organized. Now, let's create our main game class. You can name it game.java. This class will initialize our game and start the main loop. In the game loop method, we will eventually implement the game logic. But first, let's create a way to display the game board. We will use a two-dimensional array to represent our game grid. Now, let's update our game.java to include the game board. Instantiate a game board object when the game starts and print the initial board to the console. Now let's discuss how we can represent players and their units. We'll create a class called player that will store player information and a unit class that represents each unit on the board. Next, we'll integrate our players and units into the game. Let's modify our game class to create two players and a couple of units for each player. Next, we need to implement turn management. This will allow us to alternate turns between the players. Let's create a turn manager class. In our game class, we'll add an instance of turn manager and handle turns in the game loop. This will allow us to switch turns for both players. Now let's create the action handling. We'd like players to be able to select a unit and move it on their turn. We can add a method in the unit class to check if the move is valid. Next, let's implement a command handler that would process player commands, like moving units on the board. We would map commands to actions. We can implement a basic text input interface that could handle user commands. However, we will later build a proper GUI using JavaFX, which we'll cover shortly. Let's create a simple command input method to demonstrate how players might interact with the console. Next, we want to implement the user interface using JavaFX. We will create buttons for unit actions instead of console input. This will make the game more interactive. Finally, we need to wire everything together in the game class. Initialize the GUI and ensure that player turns work correctly with visual feedback. As we finalize our game, we will include additional features like different unit types, combat mechanics, and possibly an AI opponent. This would enhance gameplay and provide a richer experience. We have successfully built the foundational structure of a turn-based strategy game in Java. From here, you can continue to iterate on these basics and add complexity as you see fit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave comments on what you'd like to learn next. Happy coding!